Hey gorgeous ones, Ingrid Anna here. I thought I'd pop in and just say hi. I'm getting ready for a diva mind class. I usually don't teach in Australia at night time and I am getting ready to prep for that. But I thought I would reach out to all of you and just share something today that might be able to support you a little bit more deeply. I'll just wait for a few seconds to see if anyone arrives. Hey, Nicole. So, hey, everybody. It's only a few people here, that's perfect, it's all good. So, I'm about to teach my diva mind and I've been dealing with a lot of, or holding space, I should say, with a lot of new energy coming into that group. Everyone is ascending rapidly, crafting offers, looking at their funnels, getting their messaging on point. And it's a juicy, blessed ride and we're moving at a very fast pace. The pace that we move at isn't from a push, 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 force, hustle. It's more that we, usually the people that have come to work with me and I've been there myself, is we, they've tended to hold themselves back for so long. And the, the, the kind of let's go energy is around, okay, we've held ourselves back for long enough. Let's move forward deliberately and in a very clear manner. Hey Winnie, lovely chatting to you today. So we go through this accelerated ascension because we're clearing out all the distraction, the energetic distraction, the kind of self, the internal battle that so many entrepreneurs battle with to create a clear pathway. Because there's only a few things that you really need to do to start monetizing and ramping up your revenue. Um, that start to get you great results. Hey Rania, hey Crystal, hey everyone. So I'm on my moon time at the moment. <laughs> so I'm finding it harder to string it together, but I wanted to clear this, uh, share this message with you today and then I'm gonna go and teach and focus on the girls. But the, the core message that I wanted to share today is really all about awareness. Sometimes we don't know what we don't know and that tends to trip, hey gorgeous, so many people up. So. So how do you know that you don't know? There's so much, hey you, hey JM McDonald. Hey everyone, I've missed you too, Rania. So if there's, if there's things in your business and in your life as well, but there's, if there's things in your business that are not flowing, something is out of alignment and it's all solvable. But my advice is to take stock of it. Look at what's not working, right? And where the force is, where the frustration is. And then look at a few different elements of it all. There's always usually an emotional element to it. Then there's a strategic, I can't get it out, strategic shift that you need to make. So it's both an emotional shift and a strategic shift in order to create real change. So usually if there's a force, a frustration, there's a mindset or belief system that's creating that pattern. And then once you identify that, what that is, you can begin to release it. So that's going back again to awareness. Then there's usually strategic steps that you need to make in order to clear the way, right? So one is the energetic and the emotional and the next is the strategic. So for example, say you're not selling enough, right? There will be a number and a, hey gorgeous Laura, I'm teaching, I've got more students in the UK and Europe, so I'm teaching my demon mind tonight which is an um, interesting journey. We don't know if we're gonna to stick to it. We might just have to do early mornings and we're more awake. <laughs> and I don't have a four year old running around like crazy after school, tired. But um, there's also, so say, going back to the point, say that you're not making enough money, the sales aren't as consistent, there's gonna be a, a emotional belief systems, quite probably a few, um, even energetic, even if you wanna go into the whole thing from past lives, but usually really about force, conditioning, about it having to be hard, probably not owning your voice, not owning your messaging. Um, the offer that you have, whilst you may be brilliant at what you do, the offer and the messaging isn't resonating and connecting deeply with your audience. So I can like analyze someone's video. You probably, I'm sure you've done it yourself. You don't even realize you're doing it. You'll come to someone's video uh, and you can just feel they might be lovely. You might really like the person, uh, but there's something that's not really resonating and connecting and you'll, you'll switch off. You'll just tune out because the vibration and the messaging of what they're communicating isn't at the set point that's really going to reach you. So, so many, especially female entrepreneurs, but I see a lot of men do this too, 
we hold back this is a generalization but it, it happens a lot especially with under earners uh, people are holding back um, as a kind of way to protect themselves but then what we're, what we're actually doing is kind of poisoning ourselves because if you're a light worker if you're a healer and mystic a strategist and you're here to rise and serve people you can't hold back right or you can, but you're gonna suffer both energetically because it's your calling to speak up on your voice, be seen and heard to reach people. I probably look like a ghost here, sorry guys. I'm gonna, yeah, that's better. Um, and then you're not able to really connect with people and do the work at the level that you were born to do. And so therefore your audience and the people that really need you are suffering because they're there calling out for you to show up and then you're there hiding and you're repelling each other. Hey, Nitin, I have, a, I have more men on here than usual, so welcome. Champsy, hello darling. So then you've got to look at all the beliefs that are causing that. Maybe there's a lot coming up at the moment of people that think they don't know enough or they're not enough, um, who would want to really hear from them, or they just haven't spent the time really getting laser lucid clear about their message. And so there's actually an energetic um, kind of break. There's a misalignment because they're not even clear on you know, the, the, the entrepreneur, the one that's trying to reach your audience, you're not even clear on really what you want to say, how you want to say it, and how to connect, and what and how you need to articulate that in order for people to truly see you and hear you and have the resonance be really deep, right? So then there's these concrete shifts that need to happen in order for you to deeply connect. And then you have to look at, well, why are you holding back? Why are you in that state of fear? What's really going on for you? Um, and then what can you do to release that? So one of the beautiful rituals that I do in order to really have a beautiful connection with my audience, hey, Amy, is that um, when instead of having fear, like around what will people think of me? What will they say? I'm going to get all this hate mail and I'm going to get ostracized and judged, which is a, it's a fear that so many entrepreneurs have, and especially so many women, which dates back to past lives times and also to abuse in this lifetime. Uh, women have been told also to shut down, shut up, keep small, play it safe. Don't, don't be heard. There's that kind of conditioning. So we have to break through those layers, right? But another thing that I've then been able to do for myself is, and I teach this as well, is to flip the switch and invite in a whole new relationship with your expression and yourself. And the way that I do that is instead of seeing myself being ostracized and attacked, I look at that and I think, well, what if that isn't true for me? What if that's not gonna be right for my reality? And what would I have to do to create a whole different shift and paradigm in the way that my life is when I show up visibly online? And really what I do is I tune in from a heart space. So as I'm talking to you now, I just see a light coming from my throat chakra and my heart, and I'm actually beaming my true, authentic love based self to you i'm not trying to get approval from you i approve already of myself right i'm not i'm not trying to get anything from you right <laughs> the, the the intent is to have a divine sacred holy connection and before i can have a holy divine sacred connection with you the audience i need to have that within myself right because i am not trying to get that from you it's within me and I project that outwards and then I see myself receiving that back so I very very rarely have any sense of real massive judgment or negativity come my way sometimes it does and I allow it to be released and I don't take it personally because it's a projection right <laughs> but it has nothing to do with me when someone's in that state so I usually try to give love and then sometimes I just walk away and leave it because it's something that I don't want to even entertain or participate in at that time, depending on what's happening with my own life. But really the intent is to share love and to have connection. And then I, I visualize and feel that coming back to me. And 99% of the time that is what I receive. When I'm doing my trainings, my webinars, my teachings, even when I'm selling, of course, it is the same vibrational alignment of love, right? So I give myself permission to be seen. I give myself permission to take up space. I give myself permission to be imperfect. I give myself permission to be powerful, sensual, 
fierce, loving, kind. I give myself to be all the facets and the, and the faces of that which I am. Without hiding, without shame, I refuse, I started doing this a few years ago, I refuse to abandon myself any longer. I refuse to wait for approval and I began to own my inherent sacred power and take up space. <laughs> so when I sell and I say do hundreds of thousands of dollars, right, in a few weeks time, Partly that is my funnels. Partly that is, you know, making sure that when I'm doing a webinar that I've got a great perfect PowerPoint and it's planned out, um, that the content is clean and clear and that I'm coming from a place of generosity and sharing. Then I know my offer, I, I'm clear on what I'm offering, I'm clear on my audience, I'm clear on the messaging. Um, but at the end of the day, a lot of, and then you know, you've got your email sequences and your down sales and your up sales and your disappearing bonuses. There's all the strategy, right? <laughs> that sits behind it. But really, at the heart of the foundation, you need to have the, you know, you can't build an empire on a shaky ground. You need to have a solid platform, and that comes from within. It comes from your energetic, beautiful, divine, inherent alignment to only yourself and your voice and your and your and your movement and your revolution because we're all here to create radical change and we all have a revolution right our own personal movement i am very very clear on what my message is and i don't pull back i call it your resonance also for riches so when i am inviting people to step up into their own power that is a very clear aligned call that I am making, that I'm making a stand for, and I majority, I'm the majority of women that I, uh, people that I work with are women, and I'm calling that them to own their own power, right? And to, to make a choice that will radically change their lives and then in turn the, li the lives of others. And I'm not one foot in, one foot out. When I am invoking that energy of inspiring, inviting people to connect to their own power, to make powerful choices in their lives, it is full. I am fully present and fully committed to that outcome. So my fear basically dissolves and my courage and my movement and my message is forefront. And that is what has supported me so much. And it is a skill. It is a learning. You have to heal um, any fear that you have or begin to dissolve it gradually because it is a process around being seen, around knowing enough, about around um, just being yourself, really at the end of the day, what shuts people off from people's videos, I believe, and, the, and just having a connection, because this is really about the connection, is the veil. And what I mean by that, it's the veil that we can't see, but we feel energetically, right? Right now, I can feel I could almost touch you, right, with my energy. I can feel you. I can feel it, right? Because there's no veil where a protection between me and you, I feel protected and, and, and aligned with my own self, right? I have love for myself with all my wounds and all my own maybe insecurities. I've gotten to a level where I feel comfortable enough just being me. And I'm inviting you to just own and honor self to just be you because that is the authentic, true essence. That is the authentic power that you have. And when you can really deeply connect with yourself and love yourself enough to express the truth of who you are with no veil, all that illusion and disconnection falls away. And then business and life and supporting people becomes this beautiful, deeply connected experience. You know, I'm not sitting on a pedestal. I'm not a guru. I just am one woman connecting with my tribe, right? Connecting with my audience. And I am leading. Is everyone feeling what I'm saying? So all the doubt, the fears, the not enoughness creates a block between you and deeply connecting because there's the analyzing, there's, it's like almost like a black cloud, right? And it disconnects us from human interaction. And really at the end of the day, the currency is 
connection, right? Thank you, Amy. So give yourself permission to be vulnerable, to be authentic, to allow the stories and the illusion of not enoughness to fall away so that you can have a real heart deep connection with your audience. And things will change, I can tell you radically. Also, don't be afraid to tell people what you do. Don't be afraid to take a stand for the outcomes and the transformation that you provide. Let people know who you are so they can make a decision about whether they wanna work with you or not. There's so many women who don't actually articulate, express who they are, what they stand for, client case studies, testimonials, wins, storytelling, that whole thing isn't there and so the connection isn't there. So allow yourself to be seen, allow yourself to tell us about your work and, and the potency of your work, right? Okay. I'm sending you so much love. I hope I've been of some service today. I'm gonna go and teach a class. Okay, guys, blessings.